this is Bill Borum speaking to you from the north shore of the island of Cuba at the resort area that is known as Varadero. And we're here actually staying at a very private, luxury, small hotel of only 10 rooms right here on the beach. And this is a fantastic location, which we were put onto by some friends. And we're here after attending and speaking at a conference in Havana sponsored by uh, UNESCO. And certainly we've gathered many favorable opinions of the Cuban people, the service workers, taxi drivers, maids in hotels, a service people at a hotel, and anyone who interacts with visitors. And I would really hope that the United States government would ease the restrictions of travel to Cuba. Uh, currently, it does not allow travel to Cuba for tourism purposes. Uh, as you attempt to get some uh, license, quote unquote, to come here, there are 12 reasons that you have to select from. The penalties are not clear if you don't select any or if you come illegally. We are here legally uh, representing an educational foundation and to do research. And my speech at the UNESCO conference concerned participatory democracy, building participatory democracy by conducting trustworthy elections. So I was very happy to deliver, deliver that message to a conference of about a thousand people. In any event, tourism, I think, can help the Cuban people by delivering them income, the common everyday Cuban people. So again, uh, this is Bill Borum speaking to you from Varadero Beach, the wonderful resort here on the Caribbean Sea. So that's all for now.